guess. I'm not done ranting. <laughs> I'm just sitting here thinking about this guy. As soon as I started going through what I was going through, this dude right here, it really looks like, started really coming up into power in such a way that if you YouTube false prophet, this guy is coming right up. Apparently, he knew the whole Torah and the other version of it and like everything that was ever taken out or whatever, like this guy knew it all by the age of 15. Like there are some serious documentaries about this dude. And then I guess it's part of the prophecy that, you know, the rise of the Antichrist or the rise of the false prophet that, prophet that he would be born in Bethlehem. And then I saw this one dude say, cause this guy was, and I heard this, super like religious guy break it down in a way of if you would take the entire state of Texas and just flatten it take every building every single thing out in Texas that is currently in Texas and you fill it at, like eight foot high of quarters that the chances of this dude having these qualifications and actually being born in Bethlehem was like the likelihood of you flying a plane over the whole state of Texas full of just quarters and grabbing one. That's the chances like that you would fly a plane, <laughs> pick a quarter and it would be this guy's quarter. I mean, that is mind blowing. So I just don't know why nobody's talking about him. I do know that the general consensus around law of one people is that Jesus Christ was something called an Essene or a Machilzadek star seed. And that would make a lot of things make a lot of sense for people if they would like maybe fact check that and look into that. And apparently he had the holy grail of DNA going for him something like he activated 48 strands of DNA and dude was just the tank and I guess people call him the last avatar but there is something about this dude I bet that this guy's genetic makeup looks something like those kind of capabilities and like, why is nobody looking at Law of One? This dude, I watched a couple of things about him, and he said that he is the light. Now, that is something to be talked about because a lot of people are saying he's just a walking mirror. Like, when somebody like this rises, that he might be maybe not as bad as he looks or I don't know I'm just saying like I wish a lot of other people would look at this shit too because I'm confused I don't know what the fuck's going on and uh I want the truth I've heard people talk about Enoch in a way that they say he flip-flops a lot in what he says. I don't know anything about him. Like, I don't know anything about biblical characters at all. But there's a lot of people over here talking about a lot of things that religious people would never even consider. And it's just like, well, why don't you listen and actually think about the possibility? Like, can you definitely disprove what other people are suggesting and if you think you can then great do that and why isn't everybody just talking about this shit civilly looks like we've been fighting over religion for a really long time and it looks like there might be a bunch of answers for it and yeah i just wish that i didn't have to look at this shit alone because I don't even see anybody else 
like law of one kind of topics talking about this guy and like why I knew instantly the beginning of October when I saw this dude and I went through everything I went through I'm like oh shit like I guess we're just supposed to like bring this kinds of shit up between families because there could be a lot of healing that has to happen and I don't know any freaking family member who wouldn't think about the fights between politics at Christmas ruining everything and you know how ready to go to war we've all been for our political leaders like what the fuck that's not how it should have went like I shouldn't have been wanting to fight my cousins who hated Trump like my cousins that hated Trump shouldn't have been wanting to fight me over politics like this shit was this is terrible we have two years to talk about shit that like really fucking matters or it's just gonna happen all over again like this is stupid everybody needs to just come back to square one together and talk about the shit that really matters